welcome to an all new episode of Conversations with Tony. Today's question comes from Rebecca Kidney. She says, what fonts should I use? What tells my story the best? So Rebecca, I love that you're considering storytelling or the font psychology. And actually that's a really great place to start. How do you want to come across? Do you want to be premium, high-end, traditional luxury? Do you wanna be sharp, cutting edge, leading the way? Do you wanna be grungy and edgy and unfinished? All of these factors can help you find the best font for you. In terms of where to look, I would start with the two largest font factories, Google or Adobe. At those websites, you'll be able to try out various different kinds of fonts and even play with font pairings. But as you are experimenting with different fonts, here are a few things I would encourage you to look for. Font weights. Is this available in ultra, ultra thin and ultra, ultra bold? So that's usually in scales of 100, but it's great to have a font that you could put in 100 or 300 or 900, and that's really gonna help tell your story. In addition to playing with weight, you can play with size, making some large headings and small buttons, however you wish to tell your story, but don't forget to mix in capitalization. It says something about your brand when it's all lowercase. It says something about your brand when it's all uppercase. And finally, you can play with color. As you are playing with the storytelling of your fonts, I would encourage you to use all of those elements, Rebecca, but it is your job to guide the eye. What does someone see first when they land? And then how do you help them scan the page so that it is very clear the story that you're telling? If you wanna learn a whole lot more about fonts and see some incredible new examples, make sure that you click the link that goes along with this video. Jonathan has written a beautiful, beautiful post all about font psychology. And hey, if you have a question for me, I wanna hear from you. I look forward to answering your questions in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.